welcome back y'all to the channel today i'm going to tackle a project on this pontiac g8 so i'm the second owner of this car i've had it for over like 92,000 miles bought it when it was a one owner over seven years ago with 49,000 miles on it it overall has been holding up pretty well but there's one thing that i need to address and change out on it to really improve the looks because one item in particular is really looking worse for wear in my opinion so and i think you'll agree so we're going to tackle this spoiler on these g8s we haven't really had a whole lot of options anyone who owns a g8 can attest to that there's guys out there taking and putting spoilers on their g8s that are made for dodge chargers and stuff so Y'all, this spoiler is actually made for a G8. It's gonna go on there, it's gonna look good, gonna look better than the factory one. Let's dive into it. So like I said, overall, the car's been holding up great. Looks good, but this spoiler, y'all, it just isn't gonna cut it. The clear coat's flaking and chipping off of it in areas. And let's be honest, the stock one doesn't look bad but we can do better and improve on the looks. Also, a long time ago, I put that black Pontiac emblem on there and it had red in it, but I guess just it being a daily driver and everything, all the red's gone. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull that emblem off of there. And I think it will look cleaner with no emblem with this bigger spoiler. So let's take a look at what I got. So this spoiler here is sold by Vladi. He sells a lot of carbon fiber parts for a lot of different makes and models. It is real carbon fiber. It's ready to go on the car. It also is gonna have a bit more of a profile to it. As you can see, it's gonna look really, really clean on the car. As y'all may have seen with my CTSV, I really like carbon fiber parts and I don't have any carbon fiber on the G8, so I'm looking forward to getting this on there. So let's hop right into it. The first thing we're gonna do is pop this trunk open and start pulling off the stocker. All right, so the first thing that we need to do to remove the spoiler, you got a 10 millimeter right here and a 10 millimeter right here. Both of those hold on the spoiler, so we're gonna remove those 10 millimeters. All right, y'all, after doing some struggling with this, trying to figure out how to take all this off, I'm uh, now kind of go backwards and show y'all what I believe to be is kind of the way you have to do it. I looked all over YouTube and places. I could not find a video on how to take this factory spoiler off. So, now that I've had some practice with it and nobody to show me how to do it, I'm gonna try to save y'all some steps. And I'm gonna try to show y'all the way that I think is somewhat the easiest to remove this, even though I'm not so sure that there's actually an easy way to get this sucker off of here. So the first thing I did to get the upper spoiler piece off, while it was up here, I took and gave it some taps on the back side But then the spoiler in all these places is held on to this clipped on piece back here on your deck lid. So when you tap it off of there like that, it's gonna break it off. All of the backsides of your clips are kind of buried down in there in your trunk lid, except for the outer two, which are held on by 10 millimeter nuts. I've seen some people in other videos use unibits and drilling holes up in here. And I think the only way for you to get to the back sides of those clips is to probably drill some holes to actually get to the back side of them to release them. Because there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, 
There's one back behind here, and there's one back behind here. You can only get your fingers back up in there so good, and it's just too tight to even get tools into. I can't even get the camera back in there to even show you where they're at. I'm not worried about saving my factory spoiler. So instead of being worried about trying to save it or this plastic railing piece and all that across here, I am just going to drill into each of those yellow clips. I'm using a 5 30 seconds drill bit and the hole that the clips are in is much larger than this. I'm just trying to drill through the clip. Here is what those clips look like and what I'm drilling into, it's a little bit off centered. so. You gotta try to get a feel for where the section is that you need to drill through. And when you're working the clips, you have to get this sticky tape off of this section because otherwise you're prying against the sticky tape and prying up against the clips as well. I see now why I could not find a video on YouTube of people removing the factory spoiler and these clipped on pieces because this sucks and I don't even know if there's a really good way to do it. You're probably just going to have to pick your own method and decide whether you want to break these clips, working them off, or if you want to work your way into the back side of this deck lid and get you some access to where those clips are going through. All this is going to be covered up with that new spoiler. So you don't need to be really super worried about how they come out. You just don't want to do a whole bunch of damage when you're getting all this crap off. All right. So now that we've gotten the old spoiler off and all those clips off, it's time to remove the rest of this adhesive and clean up this part of the deck lid. I'm gonna take this, dissolve it, just like I showed you on the last video. I'm gonna put on all this sticky stuff on the deck lid and use it to remove it. If you prefer using the 3M eraser method or one of those, obviously feel free to use that method. Well, I'm still removing adhesive, so I just figured I'd let you all know when you do this job, there is lots of adhesive. There's four of these strips about like that across the back. And then there's like, I don't know, I guess every bit of four more across the top, but they're a little longer. If you plan on doing this job, give yourself lots of time to remove all this adhesive and get it all cleaned up or already have a eraser wheel on hand if you're gonna use one of those or whatever your method is for removing all this adhesive be prepared because you're going to spend a lot of time doing it all right y'all so now all the adhesive is off of the car so the next thing to do is to work on our spoiler and prepare it to get it ready to put on the car so what we're going to do is on the back side of the spoiler we have to wipe it down you have an alcohol wipe and then also this double-sided 3M tape comes with the kit as well. I'm not sure how long this roll of tape necessarily is. It looks like it's maybe the size that's just slightly under a quarter of an inch wide. So just to kind of go overboard a little bit, I went with the just shy of half inch. Like if you look for half inch double stick 3M tape VHB, then this is 
0.4 of an inch wide. So I don't know why, but every number, even if you look for one inch wide tape, it's like 0.95 of an inch wide. So for some reason, uh, 3M runs it small. So I got this longer roll off of Amazon and I'm just gonna use it to put it on here. I might even use some of what they provided as well, but I just wanted to make sure that I had plenty of tape. The only way that they have you actually take and put this on the car is with this 3M VHB tape. Another thing with this tape, the longer that it sets up, the more that it adheres to the car and to the spoiler. So after you put this on, you might not want to take and drive the car right away. You might want to give it at least four to maybe even eight hours, maybe even overnight and let it set up because the longer it sets up, the more it adheres and the harder it will be for the spoiler to come off. All right, so now I'm gonna take the alcohol wipe and just wipe off these areas where the tape is going to go. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. All right, so now that all the rubbing alcohol is dry, as you can see, there's a raised edge about an inch wide right here. And then we have a raised edge right here. And it's also still kind of a raised edge up the whole way across the back. And this part in the center here is kind of like indented right here. So this raised portion is where I'm going to put my 3M tape. So when you're doing your 3M tape, Try not to touch the sticky part of the 3M tape and then leave the red on the back side because I'm going to show you a trick that we can use. So when we set this on the car, how we can stick it right in place, right where we want it. So we're going to start by peeling the end of the 3M tape. I'm going to go all the way to the end. I'm gonna go all the way to the end just like that because this front edge if we want to keep water from coming up underneath here then we want this front edge of this tape to be solid so that the water will run away This tape is really thin, so don't get worried that you're gonna see it. Just push down firmly along that. And again, the longer it sits, the stronger the bond is gonna be to the spoiler. And now I'm gonna do the same thing right here. I'm gonna put this right up against this one. Then right here, I'm gonna cut it. Just like that. All right, so you get the idea. Now I'm gonna run across the back and then do the same down the other side. All right, for good measure, and since I have the extra flat area, I'm gonna go ahead and put one more right across here. Not only is it going to stick more and have more room that the adhesive is onto the paint, but then also when there's more air pushing back this way, 
the first thing it would try to do is lift the front of the spoiler back like this off the deck lid. So this up here on the front will probably see the most pressure trying to lift up. So here's what it looks like. You can see again, there's that indention area I was talking about. All this up here is flat. All this right here is flat. You've got a flat spot the whole way across the back. And you wanna make sure none of your tape overlaps. This is completely flush right here. All right, so now that all the tape's on, and I took that alcohol pad and I wiped down the car. So we're going to go take the spoiler to the car and go get it set in place and install it. All right, so now's the time to stick the spoiler down. So what I recommend first is to take the spoiler, set it where it's going to go, and then get a good feel for what is going to be centered on your deck lid right up here on both sides. Figure out just how much it's gonna have just a little bit of deck lid paint showing on both sides. Once you get a good feel for about where it's gonna go and where it's gonna stick at, we're gonna prepare our tape on the back side. We're just gonna peel now a little piece of the tape at each spot. If it helps you, you can get like a little pick. And all we want to do is pull enough to where it's going to sit over the outside. And then we can pull it. Same thing with these here. We just want enough tape that's going to stick right out there so we can grab it and pull it. So if this sticks, when we put this down, it's not the end of the world if we need to move it because if we don't put a lot of downward pressure on it, then it still will lift up. All right, now let's put it in place. Make sure all your tape is showing. Get it nice and centered and squared up. And then while holding it down, start working some tape out. I'll also pull this one back here. And pull your back piece all right all right there it is it's installed and get a good feel for how good it looks, how it's kicking up off of the deck lid. Definitely more aggressive than the other one and definitely kicks up higher and farther off the back of the car than the other one. A 
looks so good. All right, I'm gonna catch y'all in the morning and I'm gonna get some daytime shots so y'all can see it in the daylight and from some different angles. And I'm gonna put a tape measure on here so you can see exactly how much more it sticks out and how much bigger the spoiler actually is. Show you like how it looks and how it just turned out. Looks so good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. The current price at the time of shooting this video was $260. And I think it is just a great piece for 260 bucks. Let's look at some measurements now. So as you can see, the stock spoiler only stepped up off the trunk about two inches. The new spoiler is really every bit of four inches. So it is kicking up off the deck lid twice as far as the factory one. And for overall width, the stock spoiler is just shy of five and a quarter inches. So as you can see, the overall length of it is just shy of seven inches up top. So basically the spoiler has the exact same pitch and contour almost as the factory one but it just kicks out two inches further and it's a lot more noticeable how far it kicks out. And then of course the carbon fiber just looks amazing. So I'm really, really happy with my purchase. I'm really happy with the quality of the product and it went on good. The toughest part really was removing the old spoiler. So please, before y'all get on out of here, please hit that thumbs up on the video Please also leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all think. And also don't forget to subscribe and ring that notifications bell. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video.